Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Far-right leader Giorgia Maloney has claimed victory in Italy's election and is on course to become the country's first female prime minister. <laughs> Ms Maloney is widely expected to form Italy's most right-wing government since World War II, something that will alarm much of Europe as Italy is the EU's third biggest economy. However, speaking after the vote, Ms Maloney said her Brothers of Italy party would govern for everyone and would not betray people's trust. When this night is over, we have to remember we are not at the end point. We are at the starting point. It is from tomorrow that we must prove our worth. It's important to understand that if we will be called to lead this country, we will do that for all. We will do that for all Italians. We will do that with the aim to unify our people, to underline what unifies it rather than what divides it. However, opposition leaders bemoaned the election results. Today is a sad day for Italy, for Europe. Tough days lie ahead of us. We fought as much as we could to avoid this outcome. We fought for our values and with the aim to taking Italy into the future. At least 13 people have died, including seven children, while a further 21 have been injured in a school shooting in Russia. Russian media have posted videos which appear to show panic inside the building where the shooting took place. Some footage shows blood on a classroom floor with desks overturned. The gunman, who was a former pupil at the school, killed himself at the scene. Staff and pupils have been evacuated from school buildings. Meanwhile, another gunman has been detained after opening fire at a draft office in the Siberian town of Ust-Limsk. A video published on social media shows the gunman opening fire at at least one person inside the draft office as others are seen running away. <laughs> Uniformed officers are then seen standing over a detained person on the ground outside the building. A number of draft officers have been attacked since Russian President Vladimir Putin declared a partial mobilization last Wednesday. Demonstrations have continued around the world after an Iranian woman was killed in police custody. <laughs> Nationwide protests erupted in Iran following the death in police custody of a 22-year-old Kurdish woman detained for allegedly failing to adhere to headscarf rules. While authorities say Marsa Almani died from underlying health reasons, her family and countless other Iranians believe she died as a result of having been beaten. At least 30 people have been killed in the protests so far. And they have spread around the world in recent days, here outside the White House in Washington. <laughs> Members of Canada's Iranian community here holding a demonstration against Iran's government over the weekend. While protesters also gathered in their hundreds outside the Iranian embassy in London. The pound has fallen to a record low against the dollar as markets react to the UK's biggest tax cuts in 50 years. Sterling fell close to $1.03 early before regaining some ground to stand at $1.08. Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng promised more tax cuts on top of a £45 billion package he announced on Friday. Amid expectations, borrowing will surge. Right now it does seem to be pretty reckless and what the government has effectively, effectively done is, is given us some money back in terms of uh, tax cuts. But of course it's very likely that that means that the Bank of England is going to come in with more aggressive interest rate hikes. So what the Chancellor gives us in terms of uh, uh, tax cuts, we're going to have it taken out in the form of higher mortgage payments, etc. Meaning that ultimately the, the, the boost to demand could be removed and all we're left with is this, this legacy of, of much larger debt. And finally, Michael Jordan's jersey from the opening game of the 1998 NBA Finals has sold for over $10 million at auction, making it the most expensive piece of game-worn sports memorabilia in history. The previous record was Argentina's Diego Maradona's Hand of God jersey, fetching a staggering $9.3 million. It was also significantly higher than the record for any item of Jordan's sports memorabilia sold so far. The jersey was expected to fetch between three and five million dollars, but in fact went for 10.1 million dollars. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the Channel Studios in Lagos.